Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another session. And I'm really happy to share uh, today a uh, painting by Marie Art. It's Cotton Flowers. Uh, hope all of you enjoyed. Before we begin, let's begin with a word of prayer. Thank you, Father God, for this blessed and beautiful morning that you've been for us. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for helping us in the past days, O oh Lord. We submit everything into your hands. We pray and ask you, Lord, that you will help us to learn something new and share that with everybody else. Thank you, Father, for everything that you do for us. We remember many people who are suffering, who are going through various tribulations now. We pray and ask that you will support them and you will comfort them at this moment. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayers. We pray and commit this time into your hands. We pray and ask all this in your mighty and precious name, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So today we have a very simple tutorial, which is uh, which is cotton flowers. Um, just three colors here, nothing more, um, done by Marie Art. Uh, and she's very, very good. Like if you really want to learn and do um, paintings by yourself, you could uh, check her uh, uh, YouTube videos. Uh, I think I prefer uh, those kind of videos which are really easy to do and can get it done fast. So let's begin. Uh, let me go through with the colors here. So we have only black, ochre, and white to be used for this colors here. And then we have the acrylic canvas, which is eight by 10. Uh, and uh, the brushes that we are using here is you can use a flat brush to do the background, uh, or you could use this kind of a brush, which has got a flat as well as a round ends. And then we have a filbert or oval brush for the cotton flowers. It could be filbert or oval brush, which we could use for the cotton flowers. And for the stems, we could use a thin shade, a flat shader and a thin brush. Okay, so these are the brushes that we are using it. Uh, and then uh, just to give that look of a cotton sponge, uh, like cotton flowers, we're using a sponge uh, to use it for the flowers. Uh, two containers of water. Okay, and then we have foam plate or your palette, which word you prefer to have. I use a ceramic plate. Uh, you could also use anything which is friendlier for you, um, I think. And then always, as always, I would say, have a washcloth or a napkin with you so you can wipe off the brushes. I think with that, let's begin. Uh, it's a very simple painting, nothing much to do here. Uh, the, for the background, we're going to use black and white. So in, a, in, a, in your uh, foam plate or in your palette, if you can use some black, and white. I'm just going to get those colors in and I'll show you. So I have black and white and I'm going to make sure. So usually I prefer to use it like this, like, you know, mix it like uh, in that way. So mix cup a mix a, a nice quantity of it. And I'm not using any water. Okay. And as you are, so if you don't use water, it's, you know, it dries very fast and you can get done your painting soon. Um, so that's where I would say don't use water. Okay. And as I'm coming down, I just want to give some gap for the uh, flowers as well. Okay. Mine is little dry, so if you want to dip some water in and do it, you can. Not, but not too much so that it doesn't dry off fast. So all you're doing is giving a background. 
and I'm using a black and white mix. Okay, so uh, with that, And don't worry if you if you miss any uh, places with no colors, it's okay. You can uh, fix them up here. I'm just uh, uh, trying to give that white space now itself so that uh, I can show that cotton the flower as well. Okay, it's a very, very simple painting. It's a very easy one. Anybody can do it and it's your colors and imagination and you would be able to do it well. And if it's light, dark uh, background, it's fine. Like you don't have to make it to, it to look the same all throughout. It can be different. And it's your imagination. Whatever you do is beautiful. Uh, never let go of that. Like, you know, if anybody is trying to say that, no, this is not good, this is not well, it's their perspective. You have your own. So make sure that, you know, you do what you feel like without hurting or harming anyone. Whatever you do is best. Okay, all I did was to make sure that I give a background and making sure that there's no white spaces. Like white dots in between. Because sometimes that's what we really need to look into. And when you are doing your colors, it happens that, you know, uh, most of the time we forget to see that kind of a spots. And that's all we are kind of covering up here. Okay. So as I said, you don't have to have the same um, gray color everywhere. It could be a little bit dark, it could be a little bit light. And as you're doing it, just make sure that you're covering up empty places. And all I'm doing is to make sure that I don't have any uh, white spots. In, in this panel that I'm using, I, it's a very absorbent one. So what happens is like, I can see those white spots after the painting is done, okay? So I'm in between, I've given some shades like dark, black, gray, white, whatever comes by, right? Okay, I think I'm kind of okay with it. Maybe a little bit uh, tint of, just to give some strokes here and there. But again, it's your background. What you want to do, you can do it. Okay, so that's my uh, background. I'm gonna make sure that my brush is washed and kept clean. I've kept it there. And now we're gonna use, I'm gonna use, um, I'm gonna use my oval brush. It's been a while since I've used it. So I'm gonna use that one. And I'm gonna make sure that I
use it into the, to give my uh, cotton flowers the look. All I did was just to make sure that I, okay. Use more of your white. The first layer is what I'm doing now. Okay, so it, it's kind of bright and dark with the white. Okay, and uh, using that same brush, what I'm going to do is just on the out with the black, little bit of black. I am just making sure, you know, that little uh, gray, uh, gray area is there. It's just a little tint of uh, white and black. Okay. Okay, so that's just to give that, uh, you know, the outward look of the cotton sponge. If you can use this cotton sponge as well, like to give the give that kind of a look. Okay, so that's that's done. I'm just keeping my brushes brush off into the water. Okay, and then we're going to make sure we're going to use a thin brush to make sure that we can draw the branch as well. So I'll show you that. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna use a flat shader and I'm gonna use a little bit of ochre. I'll show you how much I'm gonna take it in. Uh, Uh, sorry, I had when I was pouring it, it just came in too much. Okay, just take a little bit of ochre, please. Just take a little bit of ochre. And with a little bit of black that we have, I'm just going to mix that black and the ochre. Okay, uh, black and the ochre. To give it a nice... I'm just uh, I hope you can see that. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, I just want to make sure that I'm able to show you. It's just a, okay, uh, just like how you want to do a stem, that's all. Okay, and uh, as you're bringing it down, I'm just gonna introduce some white into the color. Okay, so that I am able to show the uh, stock well, but at the same time, not to be too much of white. Okay.
and probably and I just want to give one more flower there. So again, I'm using a black, making sure that my stems look like stems. Okay. And it's up to you how you want to uh, uh, bring those colors in. I I've just given a shade of the black and the ochre. So okay. Hi. Okay, that's your first thing. And now I'm gonna take my my other um, the oval brush that I have. You can use a, a round brush as well. Uh, no harm in using that. I'm just going to make sure that I've washed it very well and I'm going to use that. So I'm going to use a little tint of ochre with white. This is just to give a shade, like, you know, we're gonna change the color, like the, it, it'll become white, don't worry. It's just to bring the, uh, to get the variation in the colors. And use a nice bit of white. So when you use the white and ochre together, you would be able to get the beautiful cotton color. And slowly when we start putting in all those uh, shades in, you can see the bumps as well. Like, you know, all those cotton flowers, how it's like nice and big. Okay. So as much as you can, Use the white, and if you don't have an oval brush, it's good to use even round brush. Okay, so it is just to bring that a uh, little bit of the color variation that we use offer. I'm gonna use some here as well to bring a diff uh, small cotton flower. And I'm using the same, same uh, brush. Again, with a tint of more of white. Okay, so uh, that's, that's what I've done. I'm gonna make sure that I wash it up and then using my flat shader again, because it's, it's more easier to make with that. Um, I'm gonna use that little bit of ochre, uh, black, and white together to get that uh, beautiful uh, stem color into the picture. Even if you have a brown, you could use that, okay? Uh, so no, no harm in using a brown shade as well. I'm just gonna pick up a brown just to bring in little darker color shade here. I've used, uh, I've used one sienna. So you can use the brown. Okay. So all you're gonna do is to do the uh, the the base of the flower. So first, you can give it a, just a normal uh, outlook, and then slowly you can do the details of it okay so that i'm going to mix it with little tint of black and make sure that you know uh, those uh, that beautiful shade is seen of the brown as well as the ochre it's 
If it is too dark, no worries at all. Use a little bit of white and the gray, and you would be able to bring that color out. So all is like, you know, just make sure that you're able to draw the bases of the flower. And you can use a small brush as well. I'll show you with a small brush too. So this is my thin brush, which you can use that as well. Okay, so that's your base and making sure that the stem looks, you know, there is a variation between your background as well as your stem. So please make sure that you, if you want to darken it, darken that, okay? And that goes for your other flowers as well. Okay, so let's do that. So again, as you do this, just try to shape in to get those um, flower into that base. And whatever you do is beautiful. So never ever think twice about it. As you learn, you get into it. And if it is too dark, make sure that you can make it a little bit dark. Uh, if it is too dark, make it a little bit light with your white. If it is too light, make it dark with a little bit of black. Okay. So there goes your uh, stand, the flower base. So all I'm doing is just to bring in those color shades here. And you, you can give your bud base however you want to do it. It's like you really don't have to follow any particular way of doing it. Just to show the difference that yes, it's got a base and you know what, uh, it's, it's, hold with, it's, it's holding on with the step, okay? And it's not a difficult painting at all. It's a very easy one with only three colors that we're using in. Uh, so you can do it. And you know, do, if you have seen a cotton flower in, in real, you could see that, you know, it's, it's a very delicate one. And it doesn't have so much of um, things like the other flowers. And make sure that the brown goes in well instead of very much of black. So if your brown is not seen, add a little tint of white wood <laughs> and you will be able to get that. See, the same you do for all the four flowers here. You can do as many flowers you want. I, I'm just using the same like the picture itself, only four. If you want, you can use more. Okay, making sure that I have that base covered up. And, and slowly you, you can start defining your uh, be, be, petal basis, okay? That's you're defining using your um, ochre. Because it, it'll actually kind of highlight itself and show. Okay. And if it is too light, use, as I said, you can use a little bit of black.
and as the as the light falls onto the branches you can actually make sure that you know it, on the one side you can give it as a lighter one and the other side it can remain as a dark shape all you want to make sure is that the picture is visibly seen And making sure that okay. So that's what I'm gonna do with my other set as well. Just to make sure that the highlights are done very well. It's a very, very simple painting. You can do it very quickly. And if you want to do more detailed work, yes, it takes such a long time. Uh, and if you're only learning, it doesn't matter. Like you're just going to get the strokes well. You're going to use your hands. Like, you know, just getting the practice of how to use your uh, uh, fingers and holding up those brushes and everything. So I wouldn't say that you need to spend hours for this. But yes, as you're slowly starting, uh, starting to develop it, you need to uh, put in more efforts to make it more detailed. If you have seen my paintings, I, all I do is like just teaching and giving the basics of it, which I'm more happy than happy to do it. Okay. So. Mm. One moment. Okay. So yeah, make sure that you're able to bring in some variation into your colors. Don't make it just black or just ochre. Yeah, somewhere when you're seeing from afar and all these paintings you need to see from far away. Please don't see from very near and say that, oh, my painting is not looking good. No, it will never look good, at least for me. None of my paintings when I see from near, it looks like, oh my gosh, I've missed so many places. But when I keep it very far, it looks really beautiful. That's my small tip. So please don't be discouraged by yourself that it's not coming out well. It will come out well. And all you have to do is, you know, just keep it a little bit afar from yourself. And that's all. Okay. And what I'm trying to find out is, uh, have I done every, every places properly? Is it showing out well? If it is not showing out well, let's make it look at least let's make it look like it's there. Okay. So now with this, so this is your base of the class that we have done, right? And now if you want to do something more towards it, yes, we can do it. How are we going to do it? I'll show you. So uh, uh, yeah. I just want to take a little bit. You can use a sponge or you could use a, I'm going to use a sponge or you could use the, the oval brush that I, have, I was showing you before. So I'm going to use a little bit of white. And how do you use that white is like, you know, to get that, you know, the cotton, uh, cotton, how would it kind of fluffy, it shows some fluffiness. So that's all I'm going to bring in. The problem with this is like, if you do make sure that you put it into your, uh, into your uh, uh, palette and then kind of do the fluffiness on the board. Otherwise, what happens is like, it will become too much of, um, what do you say? Uh, too much of that uh, darker, sh darker shade. Okay, so that's your cotton flower. Very simple, very easy. And if it's going away beyond, if you, if beyond your, uh, this one, just make sure that you give that. So that you don't forget it. I'm a person who might forget so that I'm just doing it then. Okay. So just to make sure I have that. And if you use thicker paints, like in your brush itself, if you use thicker paints, then it gives you a little, it, it makes you look more beautiful. That whole Okay. So there goes that one. If you want to make it a little bit more towards the other side, this is all your ideas. How do you want to do it? Okay. So you use your ideas, whatever you feel like. 
and I'm just gonna give one just outside, just like that. Okay, so it's like it shows that there's something happening there, and I'm gonna make sure that this all the dark ends all look nice. Okay, and then go with the uh, sponge again. So there again, I go. I'm gonna make sure that. Okay, that's too dark. So make it dip it again into your palette and get that fluffiness out. The same misty look you can give it in the mountains as well. Okay, so that's your misty look of your cotton flower. I yeah, and the same goes here as well. And that's just outside. Okay, not doing too much. And give it in a shape of a you know three cup kind of thing. See, okay. And here as well, not too much of paint, but then you know, as as of cotton flowers, they've got so much of fluffiness outside, and that's what you're trying to get in. Because they keep on that fluff that that fluff goes out. See there, so it's a very very simple one. The fluff is seen nicely. And uh, if in in the in between, if you want to give a little bit of darkness of white, just to show that variation, yes, you can do that. If the ochre is too much, okay. And as I said, never look the painting very close by. You can look, keep it afar and look, and then it looks nice. And this is all your simple. Uh, cotton flowers. So I'm going to make sure that I can, if I have to put anything here, all I'm going to do is to make sure that, you know, uh, it looks nice, even if I keep it afar. Okay. And as the colors, you can give it dark, light, however you feel like. And the more fluffiness, if you want to bring it, you could really bring it in. Uh, I'm just going to see, you know, where all I have to bring those branches in. The fluff looks nice. Uh, I think for this particular uh, thing, I'm going to give some variations because that flower looks like. Okay. Yeah. And a little bit of, little bit of that ochre just in between. So make sure that you give some variation into the flower. So don't make it pure white and don't make it too ochre because that's not what you want to do. Okay. And uh, here as well, I'm just bringing in some ochre into the center. And these flowers, when you see in real also, they are like all fluffed up. Nothing much you can see about it. So it's easier. Okay, there goes just here and there so that you can see a difference in between those flowers. And if you want to bring in some little bit of uh, a black in the center somewhere to give the shadowy stuff, you can do that. Not too much, huh? just a little bit. Because anything you do, it should be light and fluffed. Okay, so that's all I'm doing and here as well. In the center, you can bring some variations there. And as I said, when you look the flower from far away, it looks nice. And that's all we have to do. I think I'm quite okay with the flowers here. I uh, maybe a little bit of a little bit of the ochre just to show that. Yeah. So this is a very, very simple painting and we are kind of good with it. All I did was like, just to make sure that we darken those colors there. And see, I think we are good. And you know what, another one point is like to make sure in the picture itself, if you want to uh, bring in some fluff around everywhere, Take up, take that sponge. Make sure that you have not, not there is not too much of, too much of uh, what do you say? 
uh, darkness that's going to come, you can just give it very light, like as though the fluff is flying around everywhere. Very lightly, very lightly, very gentle touches. Because the fluff is not going to stay the same place. So just around the flower, if you can just go ahead and do that way. So what happens, you show that the, the cotton flower is actually moving. Like, you know, there is there is a, lots of that fluff that's coming around. You can also use a brush to give in some, you know, those galaxy kind of thing looks. Uh, I'm, I'm okay with this one. That's up to you, how you want to get it. Okay, so you've got your fluffiness there. I, wait, let me... Let me bring back that. Yes. So you've got your fluffiness there. And if you want to bring in some here, you can bring in that as well. Very lightly, very lightly. No hard touches here. Just light touches here and there. And your cotton flowers are done. Simple, easy cotton flowers. It's not at all difficult. If you want to give in some darker shades here, you can give in like, you know, something off. It's a falling off kind of thing. There's your cotton flowers, simple painting. Okay, so I will see you next week with another painting. Happy to take any questions. And with that, I'll just close the recording.